Hi friends, welcome to this week's episode of Brick House Bones, where each week I give you four evidence-based exercises to help improve your bone density and reduce your risk of fractures. Now, if you like receiving this content, if you find this valuable and helpful, then it would be very helpful to me if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, or leave a comment. That just tells the algorithm that you are looking for it and other people might be looking for it too. So I thank you in advance for that. Now be sure to watch each exercise as each one is important as a component of helping to prevent a fracture and improve your bone density. Now today we're gonna to go over a plank. So we work on some core exercises. This will be modified that we can use a wall if you're a person who doesn't go on the floor. We can also have more advanced versions. I'll show you all of them. We're going to work a posture exercise called a W. We're going to do some balance walking exercises with dynamic balance. And we're going to do a wall bounce to get some power and impact through our upper body and help protect the bones in our upper extremities. So the first exercise, number one, is a plank. And if you're not someone who gets on the floor, that's just fine. We can use a wall. And you want to step away from the wall with your feet hip width apart. Heels down if you can, so you get a nice stretch, but it's okay if they're up. Hands approximately shoulder height. We want to tuck the tail under. Create some tension in that front body. Push the wall away firmly. Have a nice tucked chin and long neck. So be careful that we're not arching the low back or reaching the hips out. We want a nice straight line between the shoulders and the heels. And I'm even pushing into the wall a little bit so that I get a little more tension in this front body. So this is version one. You adjust your angle for your level of strength to whatever feels safe for you. You want to build up to 60, 60 seconds on this plank. In this position, the next position, if you can do that, is to take a chair or a countertop and then go into this position and be sure to just sink that chest just a little bit and have a big heart so we don't have this roundedness in the upper back. We want to think open heart, shoulders away from the ears. You wouldn't want to build to 60 seconds in this position. If you can do that, the next progression is down onto the mat. I would go elbows and knees and again, Drop the hips, but tuck the tail. Hold this for 60 seconds. If you can do that, drop the toes, lift the knees. You can do this elbow version for 60. And again, you start maybe at 10 seconds, 20 seconds, gradually building with your goal to be 60 seconds. You can do that elbow version or up on your hands. Really think about not arching the low back, so tuck the tail, big heart, tuck the chin for a long neck. Hands should be directly under the shoulders. Heels should be reaching back. Feet are approximately hip width apart. All right, good job. Take a little time, work on that. Find what the best position is for you. It is challenging, but safe. Okay, next exercise for posture so we have less stress on the vertebral bodies in our spine it's called a w and a w is the position our arms are in when you look from the back so we have a w position here so the exercise starts with the arms out we bring the elbows and hands back and down squeezing the wings and then reach forward so we do about a five second hold five four three, two, one, and reach, and we come back. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. As you're squeezing back, elbows should be lower than shoulders, hands should be on top of the elbows. If you find that your hands are forward and your elbows are back, it means the rotator cuff is a little tight. So do the best you can to Lift those hands back and really open up those shoulders. This will really help that shoulder posture that rolls forward. Do the best you can. Ten repetitions, five seconds each one. All right. Exercise number three is our balance exercise. 
Find a place safe in your home. Maybe there's a wall or a countertop beside you if you need a little extra support. Maybe you use your cane if you typically use an assist device, but make it safe in your environment. And we're gonna pretend that we're walking on a balance beam. So one foot in front of the other, it doesn't have to touch, taking five to 10 steps forward. Again, you may use a countertop, you may use a cane. So five to 10 steps forward, and then five to 10 steps backwards. So most falls happen when we're moving, not when we're standing still. So we need to train balance, not just standing still. We need to train balance when we're moving. So five to 10 steps forward, five to 10 steps back, five rounds. Do that five times and work on that balance on a narrow, imaginary balance beam. All right, the last exercise is about impact and power and speed and generating more force with our muscles, which helps to stimulate the bones. And we're gonna do a wall bounce. So back into our wall plank position at whatever angle feels appropriate for you. You can be relatively upright or you can have more of an angle. You can even use the box if you wish. We're gonna do it as if a push up, push away, and land, push away and land. So we're using some power to push our body away from the wall. If it's too easy, change the angle. If that's too easy, go down to the box. And you can even do this on your knees. I don't feel I have the strength for that today, so that's not what I'm gonna do. That version works for me. So do what works for you. So there was your four exercises for this week's Brick House Bones. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know how it goes.